Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're going to be talking about the spell Locate Creature. Uh, any starting thoughts? Garbage. Really? I, I don't know. I kind of... Uh, maybe you'll probably convince me otherwise, but uh, I'm going into this one with a positive attitude. I... Uh, I love one of these kind of videos where you're like, this is a cool spell. I'm like, this is trash and everyone <laughs> hates it. I don't know everyone. I'm I'm normally the only one that hates it. Still... All right. Well, what, what does it do? Maybe. Okay. Maybe I'm so this is an action to cast. It's a fourth level spell. Um, It has a duration of an hour and eats your concentration, which kind of. Um, a, It takes some bloodhound for nifty, whatever. Um. You describe or name a creature that is familiar to you. All those words are important. You sense the direction to that creature's location as long as that creature is within 1,000 feet of you, which, if you're doing the math at home, is roughly three city blocks. Hmm. If the creature is moving, you know the direction of its movement. That only counts if it is still within 1,000 feet of you. The spell can locate a specific creature known to you or the nearest creature of a specific kind, such as a human or a unicorn, so long as you have seen such a creature up close within 30 feet of it at least once. If the creature you described or named is in a different form, the spell doesn't work. The spell can't locate a creature if running water is within <laughs> at least 10 feet wide, blocks a direct path between you and the creature. So if for some reason there's a stream within the three blocks that you're trying to find the creature in, the spell probably fails. Yeah, this is like that's like a tracking thing. The, well, I, mean, I think that's what the, yeah. it's going for. But uh, sure, right. I will concede that the thousand feet is very limiting. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> all right, almost. Okay, yeah, yeah, that is. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay. Well, yeah. Let's let's dissect why this is as bad as it is. Okay. To start out, for you, this only will ever work on creatures that you have not that you have I'm sorry, that you have met. If you are looking for a specific kind of animal, if you're looking for a specific monster, if you're looking for a specific creature, if it is like a mystery, if like you see an owlbear talons clawing through a uh in like a barn door or whatever, and people describe the owlbear to you, mm -hmm. you can't cast it on the owlbear, regardless right. of where it is, because you haven't been within 30 feet of an owlbear before. That's number one. If the spell had an infinite range, I'd already be like, oh, that's makes this quite a bit worse, but it doesn't. Because the next thing we can talk about is three city blocks is not very far. If you're no. trying to locate something, your eyes can see that distance. There may be objects and things in the way, of course. If you're in some kind of city street hunt and you were in, you were dealing with a shady gambler, if they know locate creature exists, you best believe they're getting more than three city blocks away from you. If they don't, maybe they just grab the coin purse, run out into the alley and start rifling through it, and you go, oh, where did they go? It dash, dash, dashed. I'll locate creature and it'll find it around the corner. You could have walked out of the building and turned your head to the right, and that would have done the same effect. This spell... I'm, I, I will say, I am glad this spell is bad. And the reason I'm glad the spell is bad is because I think rangers have a hard enough time as it is, and when their whole shtick tends to be finding things, making the find a thing spell bad means their regular skill checks are just going to be more more often than not better than this. I'd go as far to say the survival skill makes this spell obsolete. If you can make a DC 15 survival check to find a footprint showing general direction, that does leagues more than this fourth level spell ever would. Um, This spell is complete and utter trash hilariously if something crosses a stream and you cast the spell you waste it which is funny to me because like even if you are in the woods and you get ambushed by a pixie and you have the foresight to get up and be like ah that pixie that ambushed us that stole our thing i will locate it and your dm goes you camp next to a stream get fucked <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah i don't i i don't think this is a great one for uh you know rural areas you know where you're, you're tracking something over large distances because you know it doesn't have the distance <laughs> but uh i don't know i still i think it could be useful in an urban setting where you know there's lots of things to hide behind things to uh you know alleys to duck and weave through if you're you, stealing you give me something a face. 
or trying to like hide from somebody in a city, are you really only like you're staying within three city locks? You're not sprinting for longer than that. Well, you're going to try, but uh, if they, you know, cast it in time, they can uh, hurry after you and keep you within the third thousand feet uh, distance. But like, so even in that instance, you don't know where they are. You know the direction they're in. Yeah, and you know the direction they're going. Uh, you know the direction of its movement until it exits the range? Yeah, so you gotta keep up with it. I mean, how often are you going to be out of sight of something while chasing it without within three city blocks, right? Like, the window of usability here is really narrow. d is yes. already quite bad at running, like, those kinds of uh, encounters, right? Like, the chasing down enemies because of the way the action economy is kind of clunky, because rogues get a free bonus action dash, because monks are super fast, because move speed is kind of not even remotely close to real-life move speed mechanics because of, like, you know, the way... It's a game, fundamentally. So, like, a lot of those kinds of narrative, like, ta- like rooftop chases don't work very well in the system. The people have figured out other ways to do it, and I'm sure... I- audience listeners at home if you have better rules that you use for running uh, rooftop chases and stuff please let us know maybe there's something in dmg i've missed or something but i've never heard people having particularly large success with that and if this spell is taking part in that i don't see it being even that good there because like all the cinematic elements of it are you see them on the rooftop and you're chasing them while also on the rooftop doing like parkour flips over stuff and whatnot and if that's the character you're playing you're probably a martial character like a fighter or a rogue or a ranger or even like a barbarian might be doing those things in which case you're not casting the spell anyway because it's a fourth level spell so like when does this spell get cast i don't know (laughs) uh, i'm just saying it's not I, I think there are uses for it, and uh, and it would. They're definitely in an urban setting, and uh, like I said, the rooftop chases, the sneaking through alleys. Also, what if the person you're chasing is invisible? Then you can't, uh, yeah. Then you can't just see them, see them. But you still have a way to figure out roughly where they are. Hopefully, that invisibility will wear off eventually, and uh, after an hour. Yeah, probably not. Oh, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm going a step above completely uncastable. I'm going completely uncastable. This is garbage. This spell is <laughs> terrible. This spell is a trap. This is a spell that you you would think will be good in a game, and you're like, oh, this will help us. We're playing an espionage heavy game. We're playing a game where like we're knowing the people. We're trying to like you know tail somebody. I guess okay, I'll give it that. It's decent at tailing somebody from a distance because unless you stay three blocks away while you're still following them, right? That doesn't happen all that often in D&D. But if you're in that specific espionage scenario, fine. It's just, outside of these incredibly niche out, like, uh, instances, no. You're not ca- you're not casting this to write down against rope. You're not tra- or casting this to find a specific person you've heard rumor about that you're supposed to track down. You're not casting this to, like, locate an actual creature. You're casting this to do something, like, like to to attempt to follow something that you're actively and contesting and in the vast majority of those instances skill checks will do this better all right how about this uh you're out in the out in the woods you're hungry um you've you've been within 30 feet of a pig before i gotta know are there are there any wild pigs within a thousand feet of me so i can go hunt it Boy levels create food and water. <laughs> I want fresh pig. Yeah, and there probably isn't a fresh pig within three city blocks. The woods are pretty big, I hear. Yeah. And they they they're pretty fast too. Also true. This spell's awful. I hope I've convinced you at least. At least I've hoped I've dashed your dreams of the spell being good. Yeah. I'm, yeah. All right. Yeah, you've done that. Uh but yeah, I'm. I'm I feel if I gave it a three, I would just be being argumentative and spiteful. I'm going to give it a two. I'm giving this a one. I know. (laughs) This spell is terrible. All right. Uh, I guess guess that we're done with that one. Mm -hmm. All right. That was Locate Creature. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for listening and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.